Ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that I knew MSNBC would publish. Why Biden's classified doc scandal may do more damage than Trump's. From the public's point of view, Biden may end up looking just as shady as Trump um, when it comes to the possession of classified documents. Number one, uh, Trump doesn't have Hunter, his laptop, potential graft, and pay-to-play schemes around the world uh, regarding the laptop and an arrangement that, that Joe Biden has lied about from day one. Okay, Trump never tried to suppress or suspend the New York Post. Democrats, government agencies, and Twitter officials did. They did so because felonies are found within those la that laptop. Criminal conduct. Okay, and it's not a fantasy. That's why the New York Post was suspended. That's why 50-plus intelligence officials said that it was a plot of, from, from another country to inform you of Joe's behavior. Okay, everything from Bernie Sanders getting railroaded to Joe and Hunter selling access to the United States government or possibly influencing U.S. foreign policy to, to earn money this this is this is the work of another country apparently always. So Democrats have created a red scare McCarthy era political climate and blamed one country in particular for all their corruption and possible criminal activity. Okay, um, the interesting thing is that they they made a complete mockery of classified data with Clinton, Madam Secretary, who siphoned top secret and special access program intelligence from secure government locations onto servers. It is not even physically or from a cyber perspective possible for classified data, much less top secret intel, to be siphoned or transferred um, from government agencies onto servers, private secret servers. It is impossible from a cyber perspective. Nobody has ever explained how from a digital or internet or cyber or tech perspective that's even possible. OK, but again, nobody asks basic, simple questions in the most powerful country in the world. 320 million Americans. Nobody can ask one simple. I, I might be the only person asking a very simple question. How on earth did servers get top secret intel if these servers aren't even connected to the U.S. government? Oh, that's the thing. They were, which is a very bizarre situation. Um, but anyway, even if they were, it's still impossible. That being said, I do think Hillary Clinton will be the 24 nominee. And I think this is a pretty elaborate uh, strategic uh, plan. I don't think this is by accident. I don't think that they're just suddenly looking at Biden's classified documents after protecting him for uh, three years now, suspending the New York Post, saying that, oh my goodness, you can't read true and accurate information. These are the people who are petrified of information that is inaccurate. And then when actual real reporting comes out uh, pertaining to felonies or possible criminal conduct of Joe and Hunter, well, no, 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 you can't read it because it's another country that wants you to know. So this is an article in MSNBC where they're saying, well, you know what? Um, He's not really bad. He's not really that bad, but he but to the public it may look worse because the Republicans are gonna harp on it, just like Democrats harped on all of Trump's scandals. Well, this is different. Biden did commit crimes when as senator losing these documents. Now, just losing them is a criminal act. Also, there is an issue of Hunter possibly utilizing these documents for business deals. The New York Post talked about that today. So we'll talk about the New York Post's reporting soon. And so there's a whole Pandora's box here that I believe the Democratic Party would have kept uh, closed shut were it not for their desire to see perhaps uh, Vice President Harris as president and Joe Biden to just ride off into the sunset and um, Hillary Clinton eventually uh, being the nominee in 24. So I don't think they want Biden to, to face impeachment. This is also what this article is talking about, okay? So you have MSNBC saying, yeah, it's going to do more damage than Trump. The reason is because it's obvious criminal behavior. 
There's a laptop, there's Hunter, there's Hunter's access to Joe's classified data, the fact that they're selling access to the United States government, the fact that documents classified are just being found everywhere. And the issue that they try, like now they're trying to say, oh, well, Biden cooperated and Trump did not. Trump, it was actually, it, it's actually impossible for Biden not to cooperate because he didn't even know where they were. You know, when they say, well, Biden's cooperating, he didn't even know he was, he was, he was missing. These classified data, these classified documents were missing. That's how bad it was. That's how bad it is. So obviously they just spin all the most incriminating and criminal behavior. Yeah, of course he's cooperating. What is he supposed to do? Look into the future and find out that he actually uh, lost classified data when he had no idea that he lost the classified data? Or maybe he did, and it was a cover-up up until recently. Hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow, 8 a.m. and 11 a.m., very, very important segments. We had a Federal Bureau of Investigation agent, people, arrested. The same, one of the agents that went after Trump arrested for his ties to an oligarch. I thought Trump was supposed to have ties to an oligarch. You know what's interesting, too? It, Trump does not have the ties that Hunter does. Trump does not have the ties that Hillary does. Trump did not have the ties that Bill Clinton do, does. And uh, Trump did not have the relationships that Joe Biden does, apparently, or people around Joe, let's just say. But anyway, hit subscribe, 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. every morning. Go to H.A. Goodman's other channel. Um, I'm building that one. And also become a member to my Patreons. Thank you. I know right before this one, there was a, a super thanks I will thank you right now, and the super thanks is below next to the like and the share buttons. And ladies and gentlemen, um, go to hagoodman.com to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications. So this is very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. This is very, very interesting because this article is written in a manner the same. It's a template. The way these articles are written is it's, it's the following template. They acknowledge the wrongdoing. They try to mitigate or downplay criminal behavior, even though there's, there are more examples of criminal behavior. Trump was a president with the power to declassify anything. Biden did not have the power to declassify anything. So when, you, when they try to draw that T-chart within these articles, well, you know, here are the differences. Um, the differences favor Trump. Trump was a president. He had the power to declassify anything. His attorneys were negotiating with the National Archives and Department of Justice. And yes, they could have a difference of opinion, different from how the media uh, evaluated their negotiations. When the media and MSNBC say, well, Trump wouldn't give back the documents. Well, he already declassified everything, according to Trump and his attorneys. OK, that's why he wasn't indicted. He was a former president. And there was already uh, Bill Clinton had a, 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 a judge, a precedent where the judge ruled in Bill Clinton's favor when he had classified documents in a sock drawer near his underwear. And the reason that he could keep them is because they were on tape and he was writing a book. So there you go. OK, uh, the Mar-a-Lago documents weren't on tape, but they were at uh, Trump's property, just like Bill Clinton's classified documents were in his property. OK, the difference, though, is that the FBI raided Mar-a-Lago and they didn't go after Bill Clinton. Gee, I wonder why. And so that's one example. The Supreme Court also ruled that presidents as commander in chief uh, can declassify anything and classify anything. B Biden cannot as vice president. But the difference is that Biden had information from his time as senator. When he was senator, he didn't have the ability to declassify anything or he didn't have any, the ability to declassify documents. So that right then and there is a big problem. Also, he has Hunter possibly rummaging through his classified documents that he either lost or deliberately uh, allowed to be um, re viewed by his son. That's a huge issue. The, the New York Post talked about that. Biden is in a much greater legal peril. And they know if you're going to go after Trump, and I talked about this today, and people yawned, and it wasn't they weren't really interested in the art, in the uh, video, but get ready for future attorney generals to go after Joe Biden and Hunter, okay? Because you try to torment Trump, 
Trump eventually, whether he gets into the Oval Office, has stated he's going to investigate Biden and Hunter. So the, the investigations Democrats don't want uh, to be tied to them. That's why they're trying to just, um, you know, get Vice President Harris into the presidency. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. Huge, huge, important segments tomorrow uh, morning, 8 a.m. and 11 a.m., everybody.